welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch. And I would like to take this moment to welcome any new listeners we may have. Something that I guess a lot of people may not think of. But Christmas time, around this time of year and towards the end of the year, is a big time for technology as a gift. And um, so a lot of people have new phones, new devices. And it's a good time to fill up with content on those devices. So a lot of people, uh, there's a lot of big growth in podcasting this time of year. So I just want to welcome any new members we may be getting this time of year. And also welcoming back my OGs, my original uh, listeners. So I guess you're not OGs, you're OLs. Yeah, yeah that works. And um, so thank you very much for tuning back in. Uh, this is episode 58. It is uh, going back to World War II once again. And it's being brought to you by Sunrise Linens. They've been with us since the beginning, and I'm very, very happy to keep them going on through the new year. Uh, I've already confirmed that, so that's good. I do have a new uh, sponsor that's going to be announced in the new year, and I'm very excited about that. But tonight, I am just as equally excited about Sunrise Linens. They're a vintage vibe clothing business that offers quality handmade clothing right here in the good old U.S. of A., Visit their store at etsy.com slash shop slash sunrise linens and be sure to enter the promo code TOH25 and that'll get you 25% off your order. And while you're at it, be sure you follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Just search Sunrise Linens and on there you'll be able to see any new clothing that gets made, uh, new patterns, new designs, and uh, any sort of discounts that may be going on into the new year. Sunrise Linens for nostalgia and wandering. And now, a tale of honor. William H. Wilbur was born on the 24th of September, 1888, in Palmer, Massachusetts, and went on to graduate from the U.S. Military Academy at West Point in 1912. He joined the U.S. Army in his hometown soon after graduating and went on to attend a French military academy and was a classmate of Charles de Gaulle. William went on to see combat in World War I, and from 1941 to 1942, he commanded the 60th Infantry Regiment. As a colonel, William served on the staff of Major General George S. Patton as part of Operation Torch. This was an Allied invasion of French North Africa, and the Western Task Force was in charge of capturing the city of Casablanca, Morocco. It was his actions on the 8th of November, 1942, while tasked with delivering messages to French commanders, that he earned the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity in action above and beyond the call of duty, Colonel Wilbur prepared the plan for making contact with French commanders in Casablanca and obtaining an armistice to prevent unnecessary bloodshed. On 8 November 1942, he landed at Fadala with the leading assault waves where opposition had developed into a firm, continuous defensive line across his route of advance. Commandeering a vehicle, he was driven toward the hostile defenses under incessant fire, finally locating a French officer who accorded him passage through the forward positions. He then proceeded in total darkness through 16 miles of enemy-occupied country, intermittently subjected to heavy bursts of fire, and accomplished his mission by delivering his letters to appropriate French officials in Casablanca. Returning toward his command, Colonel Wilbur detected a hostile battery firing effectively on our troops. He took charge of a platoon of American tanks and personally led them in an attack and capture of the battery. From the moment of landing until the cessation of hostile resistance, Colonel Wilbur's conduct was voluntary and exemplary in its coolness and daring. William received the Medal of Honor on the 22nd of January, 1943, during a ceremony in Casablanca during the Casablanca Conference by President Roosevelt. In attendance were Generals Marshall and Patton. William rose up to the rank of Brigadier General while serving for the remainder of the war and was Deputy Commander of the 36th Infantry Division during the Italian Campaign. He participated in the Allied landings in Salerno and the fighting through the winter of 1943 to 1944. William retired from the Army in 1947, yet became involved in the politics regarding the Korean War. 
He was a strong anti-communist and was offered an official advisory role by the South Korean president before the war, but William declined. His son, William H. Wilbur Jr., was an army lieutenant and was killed in the Korean War. He received the Distinguished Service Cross for his actions, and William Sr. went on to give several speeches in support of President Eisenhower's plan to withdraw American troops from Korea. William also authored a few nonfiction books, was a warden of the Cook County Jail, and served on the Chicago Crime Commission. At the age of 91, William H. Wilbur died and is buried in the West Point Cemetery at the U.S. Military Academy. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. And if you like this podcast, which, of course, of course you do. How could you not? Please be sure to leave a nice review, a good rating, and tell your friends and family. Simple as that. You can see more information on Facebook and Instagram, both of them, Tales of Honor Podcast, and at talesofhonorpodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening.